Hi everyone, welcome to How Inez Rolls. Today we are doing day number two for the Christmas cookie week and today's cookies, eggnog cookies coming at you right now. Let me know in the comments if you're a fan of eggnog. I will say we are not fans of drinking it. So it's a little too thick for our taste, but you know, it as a flavor to like a milkshake or to bread and now to some cookies. Thankfully, little Luna has done it again and I can't wait to try this recipe. Let me show you what you're gonna need. So not only will you need the eggnog, you'll need some sugar, some butter, vanilla, flour, baking powder, nutmeg, cinnamon, which will be so good with that flavoring of eggnog, a couple eggs and some powdered sugar. And now let's get started. So like yesterday, I'm going to be doubling the recipe. But for you, I'm going to be telling you the ingredients for one recipe. I'll also be linking the recipe in the description box for these eggnog cookies. And they just sound so good. So what I've done already is put three quarters of a cup of, of butter. And now I'm putting a cup and a quarter of sugar. So we're just going to be mixing these up, beating them together, and that's kind of the foundation of all cookies. You want to make sure that those sugar and butter mix are incorporated so well together that they start to look a little fluffy. So I'm going to bring you closer. So you can see now that this is creamed up pretty good. It's about took about four minutes or so. So you can see that it is lighter in color. And so what now what we're gonna do is just add the eggs and the vanilla. Two eggs and two teaspoons of the vanilla. Remember I am doubling it. So now we get to add the eggnog. So one and a half cups, but I'm doing three. And then we're just gonna blend this well. Incorporate all, it, all of it in. Oh man, it already smells so good. So the next part of this recipe says that I should get a separate bowl, but we know that I don't do separate bowls. So we're just gonna do this nice and slow, you guys. So I'm gonna put in um, a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of nutmeg, which is kind of a lot when you think about it. Normally nutmeg recipes call for like quarter teaspoon. So I'm sure it'll be just fine and then a teaspoon of cinnamon so you guys it's gonna have extra flavor good kick and then I'm just going to blend this and then we'll start going with the flour one one bit at a time so I'm gonna start mixing now So now we're going to do um, two and a half cups of flour. I love having my flour in a large container. Do you carry a large container for your flour or do you just keep it out of the bag and then trim it down? I do that too sometimes. So, but I just like when I'm able to just get it all in one spot. So what I'm gonna do is I'll put in two right now because I gotta do five. <laughs> and then get that going. This is gonna make a lot of dough. I'll bring you closer so you can see that the consistency is going to change and what it looks like. So I'm gonna add some more um, flour to it, but right now it almost has like a um, pancake consistency. So it made me think, um, I wonder how that would taste 
as a pancake mix. I bet that would be so good. Now what I like to do with our leftover eggnog is make French toast with it. So now after this, I will only have the one cup. So this batter is soft. It's going to be kind of like a thicker muffin mix. So we're gonna be dropping it onto parchment paper. I have foil, but there's a lot of butter in here, so I am not going to spray it, and we'll see how it turns out. But I'll go with one tray first, and then we'll see how it goes. So we're just gonna make some drops. And they're gonna probably be a lot like um, the pumpkin chocolate chip cookies that I made recently, well, in the last month or so, where they were like muffin tops almost, and so good. So this is not the finished product. We still have to put a drizzle of icing. So I'm just gonna probably put about six and give it a test go. All right, so here's our first go. You can see all the flecks of the spices that are in it. Oh, that's gonna give it so much flavor, you guys. So let's get this going. It's gonna go and cook for 12 to 15 minutes. And I'm gonna get all of my um, baking sheets ready. So I'm having to hurry and make these as well. So I'm gonna have both the ovens going because Paul and I are going to a party this evening with his work at a nice restaurant. So you'll get to see that at the end of the video, I'll take some, some fun shots while we're there. Um, but now I gotta go get pretty in a little while, right? <laughs> gotta get dressed up. So that's so fun too. So let me get these going and I'll start showing you what it looks like as they come out and then we'll get ready for that glaze. I just took these out and I had another batch right here. That was the first batch. And here's the second. They are spreading out a little bit more than I want them to. I have a couple of more batches that I, I just put in. But I, what I'm going to do is change the to the small spoon instead of the bigger spoon. And like, let's see how that works. We are going to put a drizzle on them. And I did have one. And they are so good, you guys. These smell delicious. It's just too bad that they kind of look like a pancake at this minute. But... It's okay, it's still gonna be good. While we are letting those cool, now let me tell you, it, I think the smaller spoon's gonna work, so you may wanna stick to that plan. They do have a consistency of a madeleine, those little soft cookies that kind of look like a seashell. So they are really good too. The flavor is, oh, it's just amazing. Okay, so we're going to make a glaze one and a half cups of powdered sugar, which I'm doubling. And then we're going to do three or four tablespoons of eggnog and just mix. I'll probably start off with three and get that going. I'm probably just gonna use like, um, let's see, maybe a whisk or a spatula. Let's use this. And then you can add some more to it depending on how thick you would like your glaze to be or thin. It mixes down really fast, you guys. I ended up just putting maybe like a half a tablespoon more, so I added a tablespoon more. And I think that's gonna be the perfect drizzle for rizzle. This is so good. Now I'm gonna wait until obviously they're cool but I just wanted to taste the flavors so good you guys so I just have a few more pans in the oven these ones are the smaller ones I kind of like their size a little bit better um, the glaze is just ready for the cookies so I think I'm just gonna make a batch and put it on this cookie sheet and then I'll put that in the fridge so it can kind of firm up the glaze a little bit and then we can use that batch for deliveries for tomorrow and then the rest I'll just kind of put them in the refrigerator unglazed and work on them as we move along so I like that they're like madeleines they're kind of thinner but so soft 
I follow the recipe and on the recipe it says that it only makes two dozen. So I would be making four dozen. So that's about accurate. However, I have just thought maybe about considering adding a tiny bit more flour, maybe like a half a cup more. Yes, so instead of adding two and a half cups of flour, you'd be adding three cups of flour. It might make them a little bit puffier too even, and it shouldn't change the taste at all, but these are good. These are darn good. <laughs> I decided that I wanted to do another batch with the glaze because I think tomorrow is going to be a delivery day. So these are so good, you guys. Let me show you. Look at those. They are so good. So the flavoring is eggnog. The texture is Madeline's. Um, I, it's soft. It's so good. I could eat these like just sitting down and eat like a dozen, easy. So now that I've showed you what we're doing in the kitchen, let me show you what we did tonight for Paul's work party. I need to go get ready. Wasn't that just so fun? I I really enjoy going out to, with Paul and his work because we get to go to places that we normally wouldn't go to. So I already know we're having a good time. So thanks so much for stopping by the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget more cookie recipes are to come. So stick around rollers, you know what's coming up next. Bye you guys. So good, so good, so good.